find myself saying, Lord, would you make me more kind like mm. you are? Kind in my thoughts, kind in my words, to notice the people around me, not just to, I tend to be very task oriented, mm -hmm. moving quickly from one thing to the next. And I can just leave a wake of busyness and stress around me, but to stop and notice and say, how can I minister to you in the name of Jesus? And it's transformational. Mm -hmm. While we're in the book of Titus, when you come to chapter three, you see this stated again. Paul says, we were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. I think, wow, that's a pretty awful kind of person. And so how did God treat us? But when the kindness of God appeared, the goodness and kindness of our mm -hmm. God and Savior appeared. He saved us, yeah. not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy. So you think it's easy to be kind to people who bless you, who encourage you, who strengthen you. But to think of strangers, mm -hmm. people who rub you the wrong way, people who irritate you. We were all that and worse to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet he showed us kindness. And the other thing that I love about this this verse and the way it's structured is when the goodness and kindness of God appeared, he saved us. Well, who is the he? The he is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the kindness and goodness of God appearing in right. flesh. Right. It's like God sent his kindness. That's that, that was his, his, uh, his gift means to us. and yeah. his gift of kindness and Jesus Christ coming for us and dying for our sins was God's demonstration of his kind heart. And that really is the gospel. Mm -hmm. And that's what draws people to Christ. In fact, Romans two tells us that the goodness and kindness of God brings us to repentance. Mm. We, we say, we don't deserve this. It leaves us awestruck when we think about it, that God should have been kind to us. When Romans says we were his enemies, mm -hmm. we were separated from God, we were aliens from God, we hated God. So it's not his rules, it's not his condemnation, it's not his tisk tisk tisk. you should do better. It's his kindness that draws us to repentance. And that's really powerful.